Happy opening day, you guys. Trying to say that with a straight face because I'm a White Sox fan and this doesn't feel like a very happy opening day. Because for what, the first time in like five years, we're starting a new season without even a shred of hope of any optimism for what lies ahead for the next season. But regardless, this seems like the perfect time to break out the White Sox theme team. So I have every single card in the White Sox inventory at this point in the game, which isn't too hard. So this will be the first iteration of the theme team. Now, for anybody that's new, might not have been around last year when the White Sox theme team was a series that ran throughout the year on this channel. The way I tend to like to build the White Sox theme team is maybe a bit different than other people would. Other people might, you know, bring in cards from different teams' inventories that have played on the White Sox. I kind of like just using a team full of cards that are actually in the White Sox inventory. My one exception to that usually is in the bullpen. I'll expand that and I'll add anybody in the game who spent any amount of time on the White Sox that has a relief pitcher card, but I don't have that right now. The uh, resource that I look at to make sure that I have all the right players and all the players I could have, it doesn't seem to be updated yet for this game, but also the couple that I know of that would fit on this team are kind of tough to get right now. You got that 90 Craig Kimbrell, that's the Braves collection reward. There's an 87 Joe Kelly, who's a different pitcher captain, but I'm still pretty far away in the season one XP program to get a second one of those after already having gotten Liam Hendricks. So I figure for now, we'll just keep it simple. We'll just keep it to an all White Sox inventory team. And it's not looking great, but we do have some help with our captain boosts. So the way captains seem to work this year is both the hitting and pitching captains can boost both sides of the ball. So having them both, we actually get a pretty solid boost across across the board to all of our pitchers and all of our hitters. So all of our hitters are getting a plus 15 boost to both sides of power, contact versus righties and clutch. And all of our pitchers are getting a plus 10 boost to hits, Ks and walks per nine and then also pitching clutch. So it brings a lot of these guys up to looking at least a little bit better and a little bit more usable. We're here on this screen because it gives us an easier way to look at the new boosted overalls. But if you look at our pitching here, I mean, it brings that 85 card Carlos Rodon all the way up to a 94, but then the rest of the starting rotation, you know, it brings some of these guys up to a more usable level, but not looking great. Kind of the same deal with the bullpen. Everybody's either like a silver or high bronze tier overall right now, except Tanner Banks is actually at an 81 right now, which is pretty nice. And then our hitters with these boosts, I mean, the top end actually looks pretty solid. We get up to having four 90 plus overalls and even some of these bronzes and the Mike Cameron as a gold become pretty usable. It also does help that we have some inside edge upgrades for their opening day matchup, boosting some of the ratings too. So like Eloy right here is going up a massive plus 19 both ways against lefties. But I think it's time to take these guys into a game of ranked and just see what kind of damage we can do. Oh, we got a matchup to face here. We got John Donaldson on the mound, a team full of diamonds were on the road. Now, I have had a few of you asking since this game came out, When's the White Sox theme team coming back? Is the White Sox theme team coming back? And despite, you know, this video being the White Sox theme team, I will say that the White Sox theme team is not going to be coming back as like a regular series on this channel in this same way as it was last year. And Garcia... All we can do is hit that one on the ground is short to lead it off. But what I plan on doing this year for the White Sox theme team is since I'm live streaming now, when we get some new cards added to the White Sox inventory, some exciting ones to debut, Oh, we're getting hit with Colson Montgomery. All right, that's one way to get our first base runner on. But anyway, when we get some new cards in the inventory to use for this White Sox theme team, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the game that I'm debuting the new cards in live on stream. So to answer the question of like, you know, is the White Sox theme team coming back? It's kind of like yes and no, because yes, it is in a way, you know, we're going to be using all the White Sox cards that, as they come out. It's just not going to be an edited down series on the channel like it was last year. And I'll take my walk. We got two runners on for free. Oh, no. I think I got too far under that. Wait, he's not moving. He is not moving to catch that ball. We actually got enough to hit that out. Luis Robert Jr. is not human. I mean, it helps that his power is up to 112 with the boost 
and the inside edge today. Oh, and then Eloy the other way. Is that even going to get down? It is, and it's going all the way to the wall. I'm not going to run to second on Vlad, though. I don't think I got enough of that one. Yeah, no. Mancata is not quite as powerful as Luis Robert, not getting as good of a swing on it. But hey, I'll take a three spot in the first inning. I guess also to finish my thought about what the White Sox theme team will be this year, I'm not saying there's never going to be another episode in this format as the White Sox theme team. Like if something big happens or, you know, maybe I parallel five somebody and I'm excited to use them as there we go. There's a punch out for Rodon. But yeah, if there's something a little more special, then, you know, we might might throw the White Sox theme team back into the, the lineups here, get a game posted like normal, but that'll all be just playing it by ear. Okay, Carlos Rodon is carving this guy up. I really hope this guy doesn't quit super early because after Rodon, I don't really want to use any of these starting pitchers in a game of ranked. And there we go, another curve in the dirt. Rodon punches out the side. Nicky Lopez with the first perfect perfect of the White Sox theme team. I, it's not how I expected that to go down. All right. And Avi right back up the middle and he's he's doing something out there in center. So I'll move up to third. And I guess that'll be another run. I just I want to get around on that man. I want to drive that. Abreu. Oh, that did stay fair. Okay. Man, and now we've got two on for Luis Robert again. What's he going to do? Does he have another one in him? Mm, they actually made me go around. I, I didn't think I did. I thought I held up. Ooh. Okay, this guy does have it in him to make some decent swings. Okay, there we go. Mix it up a little bit. Now he can't touch me again. And okay. Don't hang my curveballs, I guess. And now he's he's leaving? What? That had to have been a disconnect and not a quit, right? I mean, dude finally makes a good swing. And not only that, but hits it out. And he's just like, now nah, I'm good. Well, now that means we get to see what the true ace of this upcoming White Sox season can do. And it's Garrett Crochet, and he's got to take on this team. Uh-oh. Dude, I don't know. I don't know about this. Bronze Garrett Crochet three pitch mix still only 60 stamina and i think his inside edge even is going down i'm not gonna lie i don't feel great about this i'm getting the pen warmed up immediately i don't know though i'm excited to see what crochet can do as a starter it's not like i have high hopes or high expectations or anything but you gotta remember he was really dominant when he was on as a relief pitcher and the plan always was to eventually transition him over to being a starting pitcher it's just it felt a little abrupt Corrupt. And Nicky Lopez with his diamond defense can't get there. What are you good for then? Are we even going to get him going to second? How did we let that be a double? This is White Sox baseball. And there we go. All right. We can get punch outs here. We just got to mix it up nice. Okay. That should probably keep him at second also. And if not, that's going to be a free out at third. And there we go. Slider sits him down. Crochet works himself out of it. Kind of looked good there. All right, this will be interesting. We got to face that brand new 92 overall Yamamoto they just put into the game. Base hit. Going the other way. That's a good start. Oh, dude. I timed that up. We can't drop the PCI too far. That is a home run pitch. Oh my god, that one that one was just BP. It's like he put that down the middle on purpose. What are we doing? No, and that's going to be a double play. I timed up every single swing I made against Yamamoto in this first inning. We got to walk away with something. Okay, there we go. We got the roll over. This lefty-lefty slider from Crochet is really pulling a lot of weight here. Okay, we got the righty though too. Fastball in jammed him. We got another rollover. All right. A one, two, three, non-threatening inning from Crochet. Dude, another perfect, another timed up swing. Oh, and that's the first one that I didn't quite time up. Just late on the fastball in. Oh, and, then, and then right away, I respond with ripping one down the line. I'm going for two. We need extra bases on this, and we're going to get it. 
Max Stassi. Oh, dude, I got a round on that. I got to go home on this. We got to pick up a run here. 42 speed's enough, right? Yeah, there we go. We're striking first. There's no way. Another perfect. Nicky Lopez off the wall. He almost took him deep. There's no way, right? There, There is no way. Well, I guess we try one more time. Dip even further down into the depth of this starting rotation. It's Mike Soroka. Okay, this dude might be able to play. He's got an 8-0 record. It flashed up there. The last two guys, not quite. That's not staying fair. Oh, man. My heart jumped when I saw that, but it was too good to be true. And then I just... That one's going to get through, though. I'll pound it into the ground as long as it finds a hole. No, dude, I saw that. I predicted that pitch. I saw it the whole way in, and I still get on top of it and ground into a double play. I'm still timing up every single pitch. All right, Soroka boosted up to, I think it's a 76 overall right now. Let's see what he's got. At least he has a good pitch mix, so he has that going for him. Uh-oh, that might be the only thing he has going for him, and that might not be enough. All right, bounce back, though, with the punch out grounder okay maybe just no cutters and we'll be fine who knows and that that should be an easy play for robert out there in center so starts out with a 498 foot perfect perfect to center that actually might have enough that sounded good off the bat and this is laughing mountain no come on i mean no i guess that's fair i was under it i was late that's not a good swing there we go. He finally throws that fourth ball, and I finally take a curveball. And Mike Cameron with the perfect. All right, we might have something cooking. No. Oh. I finally get a curveball that's actually in a spot that you can drive, and that's when I'm not ready for it. Uh, is that gonna, it's not going to get through. And he's not going to run it out. No speed. Man, we're getting runners on. I'm putting together good ABs. We just got to find a way to break through. Come on, we got to get this. Got to run that down. Can't let things like that beat us today. And we got him swinging. This game is very winnable. I feel like I am so close to putting it all together at the plate and really breaking through. And we're holding him on the mound. Dude, if that leaves, if that actually goes, okay. We found the limits of Nicky Lopez. Dude, come on. I'm getting under everything, too. This is what I'm talking about. I am seeing most of these pitches well. I know I was a little late on that, but I'm seeing most of these pitches well. I'm just, like, a little off in one way or another. We put it all together. This is my game. Oh, that's gone. Wow, just late. Still a little under it, but Montgomery's just too good. All right, it's not going to be two in a row because I'm going back to being just a little bit too far under it. But you know what? We tied it. We're getting closer and closer to really figuring them out and putting everything together. I don't feel bad about this game anymore. And we got him jammed again. I'm really liking how Soroka is able to mix his pitches. He is playing way above his ratings right now. And there we go. One pitch out this time. And if we get this play made with 99 speed, we've sat down nine in a row after the home run. Dude, this guy's got to be getting so fed up. I feel like every single at bat doesn't go by without me at least making a check swing or fouling off a couple pitches or something. I'd be getting so frustrated. And then once again, I can't follow it up with anything because I'm a little bit too far under it. There we go. I took one lead and forced him into throwing an 0-2 slide step fastball right at the top of the zone. That worked out perfect. And then there's our inning ending double play. Right. Great. Okay. I mean, hey, if we can keep getting the weak contact, keep it getting the easy outs, the longer we can stay in this game, the better, because I feel like it's only a matter of time before one of us figures the other out. And we got him way out in front of it. I am so impressed with this Mike Soroka outing so far. Why do I feel like I actually did get enough of that one? 
Oh, because I did. Because I somehow did with Max Stassi. And it doesn't feel very deserved, but I will take it. And then there's Nicky Lopez. And there's going to be another double play. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, we're getting some breaks going our way here. Now we just need the big swing to cap it off. Ooh, he's going to the bullpen. In the fifth inning, we got his starter out of the game. Oh, I really should have known. I really should have been ready for that pitch. That better get through. It is going to get through. I'm going all the way home. 59 speed is plenty. And there's a third run. Keep building this. Oh, no. Oh, he made the play, but he's not going to get any outs on it. Why do you go to third on that? No, dude, that's what I'm sitting on. That was the pitch I was... Making sure I was ready for, and I think it was a little too high and inside. God, and then again, dude, I just, I need the big swings. I'm getting some runs, which is great, but we need to start driving in some of these base runners. As long as Soroka continues to shut him down, though, there's not much to worry about. Okay, are we just not swinging now until we get to two strikes? Is that the new strategy? Oh, okay, I, maybe it is the new strategy, and it works. Let's see what this will do. If I can hit my spot, it's going to sit him down. I'll take my leadoff walk. Come on, Stassi, let's do some more damage. Oh, that's staying fair. Let's do some more damage, Stassi. I shouldn't let myself get excited yet. We've found ourselves in this spot a lot and haven't been able to do much with it. Although it is Nicky Lopez coming up. Oh, <laughs> that's twice... That's two times so far at Laughing Mountain Park that Nicky Lopez has made me think he's gone deep. And you know what? With a slightly better swing, he probably could have. Oh, yeah. You can't do that. You can't telegraph your fastball with the slide step. I finally take advantage of something, and we put a crooked number on the board all at once. That was destroyed, too. 479. Ooh, that maybe shouldn't have gone my way there that maybe should have been strike three but i won't complain i'll take it i think this is about to be our first at bat with luis robert jr where it's not his clutch rating active and he's going deep weighted back on the splitter perfect perfect that might rival the avi homer earlier this inning oh not quite nine feet less Oh man, and there's another perfect. Something has awoken inside of me here, and now I can't miss. Uh, I don't know if I run this out. Yeah. Ooh, he got a round on it. That might be the first sinker he's gotten a round on all day. And he still beats it into the ground for a one pitch out. Oh my god, and even when he makes a good swing, he can't do anything. We've got it all going for us right now. Let's put up a three spot, see if we can end this one early. Oh, we don't need that. We don't need that happening right there. Okay, actually, you know what? Maybe we do. We're finding every way we can to do it right now. Don't do it to him again, Stassi. Do not do it to him again. Is that going to get off the pole? It is. I thought that was going to drift foul. Nicky Lopez, another hit for him. It's going to get all the way to the gap. Can we get three? I think we have to try. I don't know. He threw it all the way to third, and we're going to get in there. Nicky Lopez with a triple. All we need now is a deep fly ball, and we've entered mercy rule territory. Okay, that, that's a deep fly ball. That is a very deep fly ball. Second perfect, perfect, no doubter of the day for Avisael Garcia. That one, that one was a little bit farther than the first. Oh my god. Dude, I am not done yet. I told you. I told you guys back in like the third inning that I was so close to putting it all together on practically every swing, and I figured that out. This is what that looks like. Another perfect swing. We hit that one too hard, though. We're not going to be able to score on it. Oh, dude, I, that, that would have been fun to get another one oppo with Robert, but that's going to give us our 13th run of the game. And there we go. There's our first one. Jammed him again. Another punch out. Actually, I don't even know. That's only five. 
We've gotten so much weak contact that that's only five strikeouts. Oh, and of course, we can't just make it easy. He's got to get one last hit. Oh, I think we lined him out. We lined him out to end it. That is three wins in a row with the White Sox theme team. That, uh, that went a little bit better than I expected.